It's such a roller coaster. I mean, within the first five minutes of the script for Antigone, it's it's a roller coaster. It is a massive roller coaster. And so to be able to hear what's happening, to process grief at the same time, having lost, you know, half of her family, just, you know, her two brothers recently, and now having to navigate, you know, something that is, you know, coming up in her face very quickly and having to quickly respond. And so I think that um, being able to, I think like you said, Vanessa, to hear the, the, the verbal responses of the community really impacted my own response. And because it was nonverbal, I think that heightened it even more because it was like, I have nothing to say at this point, but only to listen. And so to be able to track those things that affected me and how to respond without words and only, you know, the amount of like rage and frustration and sadness that was happening all at the same time. Um, I think there was such a dynamic across the board. It's, you know, Antigone having a relationship with her sister is Manny being present, Antigone having the relationship with her betrothed, her fiance, Heyman, and then to see, you know, her aunt standing clear across the way, serving, you know, her first declaration, her first decree, and, you know, her, her wife Eurydice. And so plotting and tracking all of those relationships in a matter of those first few moments um, was quite dynamic. It was very striking.